Hello again, this is Jungle Jargon. I'm here with another video. I'm going to address the age of the universe. Now they just made a recent change to the age of the universe, their calculations. They found out that the Earth is, according to the calculations, 13.8 billion years old. They just added on another 100 million years old. Years to the age of the Earth, I um, mean the universe. So, <clears throat> is there anything wrong with that calculation? They insist on on such an age in order to suggest that there is, that the teaching of the Bible is wrong about ha us having a maker. And we we still have a maker regardless. And uh, the you know the the apparent age of the universe is uh, irrelevant because it's a fabrication. And I'm going to show you why it's wrong. The age is wrong because according to the uh, calculations of the expansion of the Earth, the universe was expanded from a infinitesimal point or otherwise known as nothing. Space expanded from nothing and time expanded from no time. Okay, so now what's wrong with the age of the universe? Does anybody have any idea what's wrong? What's wrong with a calculation of it being 13.8 billion years old? They're looking at a fabrication. Time-space is a fabrication. It's a fabrication that's stretched out from nothing to something. From no time to a lot of time. From no space to a lot of space. And they're doing the calculation from after after the universe has expanded from no space to a lot of space, from no time to a lot of time. And meanwhile, the photons from the farthest galaxies are reaching us in almost no time. Even though we observe it as being taking a long time to get to reach us because of the distance and because of the time that we observe light traveling when in fact the light reaches us almost instantly which is true according to the theory of relativity and you can check that out if you don't believe it just uh, click on uh, Something like the timelessness of the photon or something like that. You'll, you'll, you'll uh, find it. Somebody talking about it. Okay. So, it turns out that scientists, astrophysicists are wrong again. Especially in regard to the age of the universe because... You're talking about an expanded fabrication of both time and space. And if time ex is expanded from no time, from which, which exists without the fabrication, then you can't calculate the age of the universe. Because you're, ta you're looking at expanded time, from, from no time to, ex to vast amounts of expanded time and space. It's not, uh, you're in a fabrication. You have to understand it. You're in a fabrication that has function. The fabrication has function when it's directed by pre-existing directives. And that's how we know we have a maker because Matter can't program itself. It can't make itself programmable, and matter can't program itself. 
and that proves there's a a maker of the the fabrication of time space because matter can't make itself or program itself it just doesn't happen no way and no how so the the age of the universe is not 13.8 billion years old because that's the measurement of our observation after it's been expanded after it's been fabricated that's not the actual age of the universe the actual age of the universe is what we have history of and before that is irrelevant anyway so you need to stop lying to kids and lying to the public you need to start telling the truth people professing themselves to be wives became fools now, it's not nice to call anyone a fool and it's worse to be a fool it's not as bad to call somebody a fool as it is to be a fool And the Bible says the fool has said in his heart there is no God. Now, everything, everything that anyone has to say against God, against the truth of God's word, is wrong. It's all wrong. Everything, every part of every suggested theory to replace God or to take the place of God is wrong because matter can't make itself programmable and matter can't program itself so you need to stop lying to kids and stop lying to people that's all there is to it